Hi, this is Rob and Ali sharing with you our passion of all things cruise and travel. Today we are going to be talking about drinks, all things drinks, all things liquid on board a carnival cruise. I'll kick it off, Rob, mm. with included drinks. So these are drinks that are included in your fare that you do not have to spend your hard earned dime over. So this will be tea and coffee in the Lido. Generally, yeah. I generally, think generally in the Lido in area. Area, sort of area. So the tea and coffee is generally just your old tea bags and um, granulated coffee. That, 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 that kind of standard. And they always have um, full fat milk, full cream milk and semi-skim milk. They will also have on offer some sort of a lemon squash or iced tea, orange squash. It just depends what they sort of make in those, you know, the machines that kind of they throw the juice mm. in and then it comes out cold at the bottom. Um, so it just depends. It's it isn't a juice. It is more like a squash, it but it can be. It's it's normally very pleasant actually for kids as well as for the grown ups for a soft they drink. They have different things throughout the day, different things and breakfast and different things at dinner. But generally speaking, it will include during uh, sometime during the day things like lemon squash. Uh, orange squash there's an orange guava and mango i think or something like mm. that there's generally an iced tea um as well i think that's i think that's about it but th there may be more there may be more but what you can do is if there's one that you particularly like or for your children is you can take a few cups and pour them into your your flask or your your drinks bottle and keep it in your fridge uh, and use that throughout the day yeah what we would say though is don't be putting your flask or your water bottle directly underneath the little tap where you turn it on. This goes for any water stations as mm. well around the ship. Um, you will be asked not to, obviously, for contamination purposes. So use the fresh glasses that are provided, um, the nice, clean, fresh glass, and you'll just have to pour it in. Yeah. That's That seems to be okay, but don't put your own receptacle underneath. There is also chilled water at all the bars. Um, and that seems to be, whether they're open or not, that always seems to be available for you. Sometimes there's lemon there, maybe not, and there's always a stack of clean glasses glasses for you to take and that's the bars outside as well so keep yourself nicely hydrated without spending any money now what can you take on board so um, for all the cruises you can take on board a, a bottle of, of alcoholic wine or a big a no box. box of wine <laughs> yes this is just a standard bottle however you can take red white a nice bottle of champagne you can take something really quite expensive yeah. um as well as you, long as you're over 18 yes the say, allowance one yeah per person over eight the age of 18 so it's in one Australia. per person not one per cabin so yeah. there's obviously if there's two of you you can take two yeah that is in australia of course it will be different in the u.s where the uh, drinking age is 21. you can drink these in your cabin or any of the the sort of public areas of the theater um, that's not the dining room or bars. You can drink them in the dining room or bars, but you will have to pay a corkage fee, which is currently $15. And um, you can also keep that wine cool by keeping it in your fridge and you can ask your um, cabin attendant to fill up the ice bucket for you and you can put it in your ice bucket mm -hmm. and then you can take it somewhere, maybe sit and watch sail away or sit and watch a sunset one evening great way to use that um, bottle of wine you've brought on you can also take 12 cans or cartons not bottles so the wine is in a bottle but your non-alcoholic drink that you can take on board has to be in cans or cartons and that you can take 12 per person um, of non-alcoholic and that's up to 375 milliliters each mm. so that's about a normal can size yeah. of coca-cola or beer one of these like and you can take this on as well this is non-alcoholic zero alcohol beer you can actually take that on as well it's, as part of your non-alcoholic allowance and it says full taste zero mm. alcohol so that's per person please take that loose in your onboard up your carry-on luggage if you put any of this um, 
any wine or any of the free, the free cans and things that you're going to take on board, if you put that in your checked in luggage, it'll get, it all gets scanned and they don't know that it's part of your allowance and they will keep it to one side. You will have your bag sort of confiscated for a while until you go down and it check it out. Yeah. It delays all your baggage. So take it, yeah. declare it when you're going on and all will be good. Now, these are only allowances at embarkation. You cannot replenish when you get to every port. So you can't, <laughs> yes. can't get off at a port and bring back another 12 cans and another bottle of wine, unfortunately. So. Yes, unfortunately. Uh, but if you are lucky enough to have a back-to-back -back cruise, you will get an allowance for each of those cruises. And if you take it all on board at the start of your cruise, they take the um, half of it away for then your next cruise so they'll just store it for you yeah. and then give it to you back so you can't have your sort of four bottles of wine if you were a couple in the first week get off run to the duty free get another two bottles and have those in the second week so they're kind of they're they're all over these kind yeah. of um, things yeah. that we like to do to get drink on board <laughs> these allowances cheaper. by the way these allowances are not dependent upon the cruise length so if it's a three night cruise or if it's a 14 night cruise you are still only allowed the one bottle of wine and 12 non-alcoholic cans yeah. of cartons yeah. per person. So as well as sort of the non-alcoholic beer, you can also take on um, sort of the uh, energy drinks that are pretty expensive, mm -hmm. or if you have a particular flavor of soda that your kids will only drink or you will only drink, um, take those on board for nothing. Okay, packages. Now you're really good. Bob's yes. really good at these packages. If, if, you, uh, if you want, actually, before we get onto the packages, so if you want any more um, than those included drinks or the ones you can take on, you can, of course, buy any drinks, soft drinks or alcoholic drinks from the bars. You don't need to purchase a packet package, but they are available. So you can just pay as you go. And a lot of people find that if they're not heavy drinkers, um, that that's the way that they, um, they want to go. So the packages, there are a number of packages that are available. The first one is the uh, a non-alcoholic one. It's called a bottomless bubbles. This is a soft drink package. The soft drinks come from cans. Um, at the time of making this- Big thumbs this, up for that. So it's not yeah. just everything on oh, the yeah. pump, yeah. not all the cheap yeah. rubbish that's on the pump. I was just Proper. Um, branded cans. Yes, and, and I was just about to say is that at the time of making this video, the brand for cola is Coca-Cola, not Pepsi. So for all of you, you who like Coke rather than Pepsi, that is, um, if you like Pepsi, then you're out of luck. But then, <laughs> so that's your bottomless bubbles. It is unlimited. Um, it's two different prices. It's $9.95 per day per adult or $7.50 per day per child. For that as I said it's unlimited it does not include um, the freshly squeezed juices now quick tip on this if you're an adult and you like your um, spirits with um, with your soft drink with a mixer you don't have to pet then pay extra for the mixer if you have the bottomless bubbles mm. so you might find that it's worth getting the bottomless bubbles and then you can knock off that 75 cents every time you have a spirit with a with a top up of a of a mixer in it yeah and of course you've still got the use of all the other soft drinks oh, yeah, as well yeah. so if you've got a bottomless bubbles package and you Whoa. do like a, a gin and tonic or a, something like that a bacardi and coke or whatever it might be use your bottomless bubbles package to save yourself that that additional 75 cents if you want an alcohol package there is the cheers package now we're not going to go through all the details and the terms and conditions but just to give you a bit of a flavor the cheers package is 111 dollars per person, per adult over the age of 18 in Australia, per day, uh, if you pre-purchase, and I think it's $119 if you purchase it on board the ship. Now, the thing to remember is that if you have more than one adult over the age of 18 in a cabin and you want to purchase it, then everybody in that cabin has to purchase it. So if, for example, uh, we I wanted to buy a, a package, Al doesn't drink, I would have to buy two packages, but there is no sharing allowed so i wouldn't be able to use alison's package even though she wasn't drinking it so we're uh, something to bear in mind they are quite strict on this if you are caught um sharing packages they can stop your package without a um, without a refund so um yeah they, they are very strict on that to stop that sharing now the drinks the alcoholic drinks 
you can go up to a value of $20 per drink, mm. which more than covers, I think, most of the cocktail. Yeah, I think it's most of the cocktails. There might be a couple in the Alchemy Bar that is uh, that comes in above that. Um, but that's uh, it, it will cover most cocktails, most spirits. Um, although you can only get one drink at a time, so you can't get doubles. You can only get a single spirit um, and a mixer. On but they this. had pretty good... Uh, mm. makes of things like whiskies and brandies yeah. and, and rums uh, uh, yeah. uh, pretty high standard yeah. up to that $20 yeah. so yeah. that seemed to cover everything. You are limited to 15 alcoholic drinks in a 24 hour period um, they will not serve you any more than 15 once you've reached your 15 you can't buy more than 15 that is it is, it is a hard cut off they are still subject to responsible service of alcohol so if you you've not had 15 and the bar staff do not feel that you're in a state to have more alcohol they can refuse you then as well um, the 15 drinks limit is not just limited to package though even if you do not have a package you are limited to 15 alcoholic drinks in a 24-hour period and uh, they monitor this by use of your cruise card so they can tell how many drinks that you've had by your cruise card yep and the drinks can't be used for bottles of wine they give you no. bottles of beer and cans of beer yeah, and, and you, on tap, you, but you, you can't use it for the You bottle. can't use it for bottles of wine. You can't use it for sharing cocktails like the fish bowls. You can't use it for buckets of beer. Um, and you can only get one at a time. Mm -hmm. Anyway, check out the cheers package and the terms and, and conditions you, on the website. It doesn't give you the specialty tea and coffee. In Australia, thank you. Yes, yeah. no, it doesn't. In Australia, you do not get specialty teas and coffees with the cheers package. Um, it's different in other parts of the world. Certainly in the US, you do. But in Australia, you do not get specialty teas and coffees included with that package. I think if it was, I would use my 15 probably <laughs> on <laughs> coffee anyway. <laughs> uh, so... so and the other packages that you can get mm. are your wine packages. Now, these look like really good value, actually. I haven't seen them before. I don't know whether they're recently introduced, but there are two versions of the wine package. You get five bottles of wine or tokens for five bottles of wine with each of the package. There is a deluxe package, which I think is $180 for five bottles. Yeah. Or there is um, a premium package, which is 260 they have different wines on it. They're different mm. values, you know, different quality wines. But the $18 works out at, what, $36 per bottle? And I think the cheapest bottle of wine that you can buy is around about $35 anyway. So if you're going to drink five bottles of wine, either between you or, or on your own or whatever it might be, um, or more, then certainly have a look at those. They're called Cruise the Vineyard Packages. Um, certainly have a look at those if on the website I believe if you have a look on the website there's actually a list of some of the included wines so check out whether the one that you want is there and whether the one you like but that's that sounds like and a pretty good deal certainly to me. works out better than buying it by the glass yeah you probably get a more expensive bottle of wine um, than the $36 or $52 that you're paying. Yeah. Now we also, there are a host of onboard deals as well to look out mm. for. So they have a bucket of beer. Mm. So this is not a giant bucket filled <laughs> with beer. Like you can sometimes get those margaritas and things. So it's filled with ice and they put the cans in there. <laughs> yeah, cans or the, or the bottles. You buy six and you get $6 off. Mm. Now you can split those beers between any variety of beers or the beer and the cider you yeah, can split, you split those. it how you want you get six dollars off by buying it in a six and yeah. of course you can then also split it between your friends um or or your partner or whatever yeah. you can share. share you can share the buckets of beer yes, yes. you so. don't have to drink it all um so that works out pretty well and i have seen uh we did see quite a few people last time um guys buying the uh the bucket pretty much near the end of the night and they might have a few out of it and then they would take the rest back to their room so they'd know they wouldn't have the six but they still wanted mm. the six dollars off and take them back to the room and get them out the next day yeah. so yeah that, that that's that's worth doing and um, the second offer is on your spirits so a double on average is about twelve dollars no a no a single is about twelve dollars if you want a double your next one is only six dollars Mm. So that's that's a pretty good buy, isn't 50 it? Fifty percent off your yeah. second shot, yeah, yeah. And, and that's in the same. That's obviously a double. You just don't don't go back and order another one and get it for six dollars. These are not available on the package because 
you can only buy one drink it's at time. a time. But yeah, if you if you drink um, spirits, then maybe think about sort of like putting a double in there and making it last a little bit longer if you don't normally drink doubles. Yep, um, yep. And as we say, everything go. comes in the in the cans um, for your mixer, and they like to give you the can, or, or they, you can tell them obviously yeah. how far you want it to go. But it's all the proper mixers, which is nice. Um, they generally wouldn't give you the can if you have a mixer. They generally put it in for you because obviously they're only charging you seventy-five cents and not the um, yeah three dollars or whatever it is for a true. Can. So wine at dinner. You like a little tipple of wine at I dinner, don't, don't you? I don't mind a glass of two or wine at dinner, and uh, but it, I'll only have a glass of two. Uh, but it works out cheaper buying a bottle. Um, I've worked it out. You generally get about uh, six glasses out of a bottle for the cost of. Um, three glasses if you bought them by the glass mm. now you might think oh i don't want to drink a whole bottle of wine with dinner and that's fine you can take it with you or you can leave it and this is what i do i leave it with the restaurant they take my cabin number and they take it away and then they bring it back next wine uh, the next night i just say to my wine waiter cabin whatever it might be and they will bring my bottle of wine and that way a bottle of wine can last me a, a few dinners um, and it's cheaper than buying it by the glass and it doesn't matter if you are going to be in a different restaurant they'll still sort of hold it for you and you don't have to sit at the same table and have the same waiter no. they kind of just sort it out for you off it yeah. goes and they'll just they just yeah. go and source it for you if you're on a package of course get it by the glass because you've already paid for it by the glass and you can't get a bottle yeah so, um, yeah and a lot of people like to buy that bottle um for their dinner share it or have it themselves and then they will take it off and go to the theatre so you don't have to queue up at the theatre or try and wave mm. over the waiter and obviously just sip it throughout the Yeah, um, carry the it production. around the ship, it's no problem there. Nobody minds if you carry that round the ship and then just get a fresh glass mm. at the next event that you are going to. That's a yeah, so just carry on drinking it that way. Um duty free on board so yeah, yeah. Fun. well if you're on an international cruise or a cruise that is classed as international so for example if you're doing the north queensland cruise and it's got the, uh, the scenic cruise by willis island so that you can qualify as an international cruise you will be able to buy duty free on board and uh, sometimes they're not bad prices but you cannot drink that duty free on board they will keep it and they will give it back to you either the night before debarkation or the morning of debarkation um, I've seen it both ways. Um, it depends. They, they work mm. about the time thing. Anyway, they um, so you cannot buy that duty free. Similarly, if you get off at an island uh, or a port and you purchase some duty free, you cannot. When you bring that back on board, you will need to declare it, and they will take it off you. You cannot take it back to your cabin or take it round the ship and drink it. Um, there's no oh, way around it. Duty yeah. free can't drink it on the ship all your bags will go through one of those little conveyor things that mm. you have at the um at airports and at your um oh, the scanners terminal, yeah the scanners. the scanners yeah okay they're, they're looking for dangerous goods that you're trying to bring on board but they will spot those bottles a mile off um yeah it's not so. necessarily dangerous goods there's things like shells if you pick them up off the yeah, island yeah, and alcohol kind of, of course because people get off especially in uh vanuatu port vila where it's quite cheap um so but they're, they're looking yeah, for all that stuff fine and that they will they will find yeah. it so um yep so just declare it or you know if well, they find it then they'll they'll just take it and they'll give it you back at the oh, end yeah. of the cruise yeah. now cafes and coffee mm. they have some lovely um delicious fresh coffees available on board you have to pay extra for these they will have specialty teas and specialty coffees and iced coffees and and all the like that you will get in um a normal coffee shop that you would get uh, on land so these are the java blue java oh. blue yeah is the main um, main cafe on most of the kind if not all of the carnival ships but sometimes that can get a bit busy like mornings and you know, before breakfast um Hot tip there, you can also get coffees from some of the bars. Um, and the, the atrium. The, the I think, the, well, certainly bar. on the Luminosa, there are, um, there are baristas and a coffee machine in the atrium bar. Uh, and there are some of the other bars that actually have coffee machines. Well, it's sometimes quicker to get them from there than wait at the Java Blue. It's not always advertised on your app or on the daily sort of activities where it'll mm. tell you where you can get food and drink. It doesn't always say that you can get coffee from those bars, but they're there. So you have to kind of, 
you have to kind of truffle, have a look and like, see if you can see the a, machine. Yes, <laughs> yes. You can't I, miss them. Big coffee machine. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I'm doing this. I'm like a little pig with truffles that I can I can smell out those coffee machines, can't I? Um, and uh, they do have non-dairy. The non-dairy tends to be almond or soy. And on the Carnival Cruises, they do normally now have the barista in the alternative coffee, which obviously holds a lot better. The, um, we, the recent Luminosa the one, they only had barista version of the almond. They did not have the barista version of the soy. Um, so check if you, if you have a particular um, taste Check whether, A, they've got the milk that you want, and B, if you prefer the barista one, then check whether it's the barista one or not, because it can change. Yeah, yeah, mm. makes all the difference. And then there is juice, real, real juice. You can get freshly squeezed juice um, at breakfast from the trolley in the dining rooms, and that's eight ninety five. dollars uh, Pretty pricey, but it's if you like it it's delicious because obviously it's all freshly done it is um and they also on the um cherry on top now we're not sure which ships have cherry on top um which is kind of adjoined to the java cafe and has all kinds of pick and mix and things but it also has the fresh juices that are kind of um come from recipes if, if that's the right word so they'll have things like mint and ginger and a little bit of kale or something's thrown in and it's the proper sort of blended juices that are fresh there maybe a little bit of ice or whatever wonderful i think they're about 8.95 yeah. they're a great value for me however these are not included in any of the packages yeah. the bottomless bubbles or the cheers package so if you want one of those during the day or at breakfast um they are a pay per juice yeah. or if you're like me say that doesn't drink mm. oh this makes a nice so, treat rather than just a soda yeah anyway hopefully that has given you uh, some help and assistance with drinks both what you get what you can bring on and what your options are on the carnival cruises if you've liked this video please hit like hit the subscribe and hit the notification button if you want to see more of our videos please it helps us out and get helps us to get to reach more people to give this sort of advice and help too and if you have any tips yourself on drinks or the drinks packages or want to make a note put them in in the just in the um the comments, comments. <laughs> <laughs> this thing this yeah. thing down here thanks for watching we will see you in the next video bye for now bye